and welcome to another tutorial by Covey for Applique Tech. Today's video will be discussing all the utilities um, that come free with your brand new Macintosh running Snow Leopard. So on um, top of the list we have Activity Monitor which actually allows you to monitor the activities going on your computer. So um, here we have it shows all the applications that are open such as um, the Finder, iMovie, QuickTime Player, and Safari. Down here, it shows how much um, how much you're using of your system memory. So let's say I have four gigabytes of RAM. It says here that there's 1.68 gigabytes available that aren't being used, um, and 1.7, 1.27 are com uh, right now active, and inactive um, is some more over there. Here it shows a pie chart of how much is being used. Um, this shows disk activity, so this shows how the activity um, throughout your uh, hard drive is going. Let's make this video kind of quick because I'm not a partner, so I can't go over 10 minutes. So I'm just going to skip these four because these are um, Adobe uh, utilities that come when you install Photoshop. So let's just skip over to Airport Utility. Airport Utility allows you to connect to any Apple um, uh, Airport um, uh, Airport Extreme or Airport Express units, um, and it's just that easy to just open this application up. And it'll scan for it, and you just press connect. Next, we have the Apple Script Editor, which actually allows you to, um, if you find a file on your computer, such as the code behind switching the background uh, picture on your login window you can use this application to edit it so it actually can edit um, Apple's coding next we have the um, audio MIDI setup so this you can use if let's say you have a problem connecting your keyboard to GarageBand which I made a video on you can just click the annotation right above this um, this a window right here and will take you to this video about connecting a keyboard to GarageBand in order to use it through a MIDI instrument. This will allow you to um, work with it in case it's not working and it's not um, set, it's to set it up correctly. Next uh, let's skip over this one which comes with Final Cut Pro um, which is to monitor how your videos are going. Let's skip over to Bluetooth File Exchange. Bluetooth File Exchange um, is an application that allows you to connect your computer to, let's say, a Bluetooth cell phone, and then through that you can send pictures or videos to it. This is um, a Bluetooth firmware update, which um, allows you to update your Bluetooth settings. Now, this is one of the largest and most popular um, Mac utility. This is called Bootcamp. Now this, no, it's actually the assistant for Bootcamp, but this is um, how you set up Bootcamp. What you have to do is you can uh, uh, partition your hard drive in order that it um, you can run Windows on it um, through our partitioning of your hard drive, and you can run any version of Windows you want through Apple's Bootcamp program. This is Color Sync Utility. So let's say you have a printer and the the colors coming off of it are messed up and when you work and when you look at the the settings for your printer everything's correct you can change um it might be something wrong with your computer and how it's reading the settings to your um printer you can use this um application or utility to change that now this is console let's say there's um your computer something's not working out about it you can go ahead and open this application up and it'll show you everything that's going on here so let's say right here it says um, the date the time that it happened it says there's an error um, magic magic cam one blah blah, blah um, uh, not allowed process so in other words it's just telling you there was an error at that time and you can look up the information about the error next we have digital color meter this um, is built in order uh, for you let's say you want to figure out exactly what the um, RBG of a certain color on your screen is you can um, use your cursor to go around the screen and when you roll over um, anything on your screen it'll show the colors um, and um, yeah the colors to it that's a pretty useful um, 
utility. Next we have the disk utility. Now this shows all information about your um, Macintosh hard drive or any other disk you have connected. This is the most popular Mac utility. This is called Expose. Now this is not an application really. It doesn't have any windows or anything to do with it. When you click it, it just activates something. It activates the Expose um, setting, which can be also activated by various different um, gestures on your Mac MacBooks or MacBook Pros um, um, touchpad. Next we have the screen grab application called Grab. Now this what this is what you can use to do um, specific types of um, image capturing. So let's say I want to capture an entire uh, selection of a window, a window, a screen, or a time screen. You can um, do that straight from this little utility. Next we have Grapher, which um, is a small utility used um, by many people who are running um, developer programs in order to help them make different graphs with different colors and stuff. Next week, this is the Java preferences um, window where you can just set your preferences for any Java applications. This is Keychain Access. Now this is very useful and many people do not know about this application. This lets you um, this is where all your application. This is where all your passwords are stored. And if you want to access them, you can go ahead and type in your um, an, a password to any admin on your computer, and you can access all your passwords straight from there. Next, we have Migrant is Migration Assistant, which allows you to transfer information from one Mac to the other. This is the Network Utility, which allows you to check your um, network settings podcast capture for capturing audio recordings and sending them straight to iTunes. QuickTime Player 7, which is the older version of QuickTime um, that that it, um, was was um, replaced with QuickTime X, this one right here, when you update to um, Mac OS X 10.6 Snow Leopard, um, but they do still have it available. This is the RAID utility for um, removing different things on your hard drive. Remote install Mac OS X for remotely <laughs> installing um, Mac OS X and Spaces, also one of the most popular um, application slash utility for the Mac, which allows you to um, go between different spaces on your computer. Um, and that's that Spaces. System profile says all the settings to your entire computer, so if you want to see how much uh, RAM you have on this, how much uh, stuff like that. You can also access it by going to the Apple Start menu and then clicking about the, about this Mac and then pressing more info that will take you straight to the system profile. Terminal um, allows you to type in any codes to um, the terminal to this to, to a window and it will activate on your computer. Voiceover utility is meant for people who um, need help using their computer or can't use their mouse, you can um, control your computer through um, talking. Now this is for now X11 is for running um, some softwares, some third-party softwares that aren't, that need a little help starting up or something. Um, or many, some, there's a problem with it. Sometimes it needs um, X11 to get it started. So thanks for watching. Um, this was Applicatech.